I'm not in the Temple of Doom. I'm actually standing inside of an anechoic chamber at Redwire's Longmont, Colorado site. Today, we're gonna learn all about antennas. This is Austin Explains. I'm here with Ben, Redwire's antenna czar. Ben, talk to me a little bit about the specialized antenna products that Redwire makes. So we're the leading provider of antennas for communication systems for the Space Development Agency. We deliver active and passive antenna products from UHF all the way up through X-Band with a focus on L-Band and S-Band. Some of our products even do things like active null forming, active beam forming, and have active RF electronic circuitry built right into them. Redwire's RF antenna team has launched up to 180 antenna sets across eight space missions. The Longmont facility has three parallel production lines, each capable of delivering up to 15 antennas per month, but actually its scalability allows its triple capacity. Talk to me a little bit about the investments we've made in our own in-house testing facility. We partnered with ETS Lindgren on producing this chamber. It's a custom design. This chamber allows us to test a really, really broad span of products from low frequencies, the high frequencies, deployable, static structures, all in an environment that emulates the environment of space. This chamber's pretty big. There's a very large arch that goes around the antenna under test. A measurement probe actually travels around the antenna to gather its performance over a full three-dimensional space. So as I understand, one of the primary use cases for Redwire antennas is warfighter communication. We were very proud to deliver the very first antenna that sent a Link 16 message from space. Link 16, a secure, high-speed military communication network, was traditionally limited to a few hundred kilometers. With Redwire's technology, its reach has expanded, enabling global connectivity and transforming long-range operational coordination. The quality of the network available to the warfighter is going to determine the outcome of future conflicts. It was really interesting to learn about how our antennas are helping to serve the warfighter. Thanks so much, man. Thank you, Austin.